हेलो गाइस दिस इज साजिद वेलकम टू माय चैनल आर्टिसंस वेब तो फॉर टुडेज वीडियो आई पिक अप द टॉपिक ऑफ हाउ टू सीड डेटाबेस यूजिंग द फेकर लाइब्रेरी इन पीएचपी सो फर्स्ट लेट्स से लेट्स सी व्हाट इज मीन बाय सीड डेटाबेस एज एग्जांपल आई टेक डेटाबेस एंड आई हैव वन टेबल कॉल्ड यूजर्स नाउ what happened while development is you created the application created the database database tables and develop your application accordingly but while moving to production first you need to test kind of load testing you need to run kind of load testing for your application for that you need dummy data in your database so here i have the users table and i need some fake data in my users table now to insert all this dummy data one by one through database is obviously not a good process it's very time consuming to enter here full name and then email okay so it will take lot of time and what if i have and i need hundreds records in my users table or thousand records in users table so by entering manually it's such a long process so for that here we you we can use this library to add the dummy data in our database so having said that let's say how to use this faker library i also written the blog on the same topic so i paste the description in description url of this blog so let's say step by step at first you need to install this library in your project so this is the installation process you should have composer installed on your system i have already installed this library i just show you how one can down, download this library so you need to just paste that command here composer require and whatever name they have provide and you need to press enter here so i already installed the library and got vendor folder and these two composers file and i have created this file index file for in which file i will going to write code for inserting dummy data in user table so this is my index.php file and i include autoload.php file which is inside here and next one this is the simple database connection i have written and this is the line you need to write as they describe on their github documentation as well this one okay now how this library works so if you just scroll down you will get the different types of providers base lorem ipsum person address phone number there is lot so i show you some basics let's say i want to generate some random digit so i just copy this string here go to here echo use this variable faker which we define here now your random digit now run the url on each refresh you will get the different random digit this is for random digit <coughs> sorry let's say i want uh, name i want name so i just get name from here on each refresh i will get the different name so this is how faker library works so having said that let's see how to insert records in users table so as you can see in my database i have four columns full name email password created at so and i need to insert some 100 records in this table so 
I need to insert 100 records so obviously I am going to use loop for it for i equal to 0 i is less than 99 now here write down this simple insert query insert into what is my table name users and let's specify column name full name email password and created at then values okay i need to enter four values I'm doing anything wrong oh here so before writing the act before passing the actual value to our query let's say one by one values here so first of all we need full name so obviously we can use our faker name then for next one we need email so i just go to here and enter email yeah we have email so i enter here email yeah i am getting different emails next one is password so i will go here and type password we have password as well so now here directly write here password each time I am getting different password and for finally we need date okay so I think they have date time something Yeah, date time. So these are the different date formats we have available. So from this list, I pick up this one. Right, but I need to convert it in YMD HIS format. So I need to write date YMD H i s and to the str2 time php method i pass this one okay i am getting data as well so it's simple then i'm passing those values here faker name then faker email next one is password so i just use md5 to encrypt my password and faker password and at last i just copy this and paste it here Okay. Uh, insert into user name, email, password. Okay. And at last, let's execute that query. MySQL I query. First one is connection object, and second one is SQL. Now it should enter 100 records in our users table. I refresh it oh undefined variable on line 12 what mistakes I did 12 12 oh yeah fine now refresh my table
yeah i got my records so in just couple of minutes i enter hundreds of record in my users table you can change value here and you'll get thousands of records or mil uh, 10,000 records or 1 lakh records whatever you want so it's all about using faker library so i hope you understand the tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching video have a nice